Hey guys, first chapter of the year, and yeah, I'm choosing to make it uh, One Piece chapter 1103, because honestly, I just had to talk about this chapter, which, uh, right out of the gate, I, I do gotta say, this is one of those chapters that it was very hard for me to avoid spoilers, like, I pretty much got spoiled, like, very early on, like, before this chapter even released on the Shonen Jump app, but, uh, and, and with those spoilers, honestly, though, came a very interesting little, um, discussion. Which is the, just the idea that af, after this chapter, it's qu there's there's a theory out there that it's quite possible that, that Jay Garcia might actually die, and truth be told, I can kind of see where the people who are coming who are who are talking about that theory are kind of coming from, because the 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 the, the thing about this chapter is with, with with Jay Garcia absolutely spewing his fucking guts about what he'd done to Bonnie, to Ginny, to, to Kuma, and just compile that on top of everything we've learned about the bastard, j j j just within, like, just within her flashback as well, just within Bonnie's flashback as well, like, it is, and, and especially now with Kuma here, with him using, like, the last remnants of his humanity in order to save Bonnie as well, and just, and, and fight, fight back against and fight back against them, um, and fight back against Jay Garcia, like, yeah, I can't deny, all the pieces do kind of seem to be put in place for him to die, and, and the other thing about it too is that I feel, I, I feel, oh, it's one of those things as well where Jay Garcia almost really does need to die, because if, even beyond just him being a total bastard, I think, I, I think Jay Garcia's death would really kind of like, would really is the way, is the ultimate way of pulling the veil over over the entire over the entire idea of the world government like like the, the 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 thing with the world government and how it's and how it's and how it's perceived by the public is that all these people who are like all these people who are like the Gorose, the the, the celestial dragons all of them th these are almighty beings who are basically who just basically cannot be killed they, they, they are they are ultimately gods in the eyes of those who who, who, who live down below in the in, in the world below but 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 a Goro, a Gorose, for example but with with the death with with uh, with the death of um with, with the death of of, of Don Quixote uh, of Don Quixote of uh, of Mioscard and and now with the death of uh and and now if if it's if if the if the idea of like Jay Garcia dying happens as well, then that would be like that would pull the ultimate veil over everything that that the everything that the world government is. It would just put, it would just lay, lay with Jay Garcia's death would basically lay everything out to bear. Like it would be impossible for for anyone in order to really hide that kind of a. It would be hard to really hide that kind of a an incident at all and it, it would just it, it would truly like put a kind of it would truly just show everyone that the gov world government the people who inhabit it are not gods they're not deities they're just like they are human like the rest of they are human like like everyone else and it would just again it would pull that veil up up and up and expose everything i think at least and so in that regard i feel yeah, just just laying all that out. I feel that it it almost kind of needs to happen. That, that Jay Garcia does need to die now. The big question right now is who's gonna pull the who's gonna be the one to do it? Who's going to kill Jay Garcia? Because at the, because with, with pretty much Kuma coming in, he's kind of the obvious he's the obvious suspect of the one who could kill Jay Garcia. But I with. With everything we see of, uh, with everything we see with Kizaru in this chapter, I'm like, is he gonna be the one to kill Jay Garcia? Like, this is, like, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I wouldn't be, like, because we see him kind of just, because we see, because we see Kizaru just kind of, like, down there on the ground, kind of like, almost kind of finally having a bit of a change of heart almost like we see him just kind of there like fully like almost like he's kuma like we see him there he's basically just like 
it seems like he's having hesitations about going through with a lot of what's going on right now. And, like, I, I, first off, I the pacing of that, I'm not going to lie, was a little bit strange, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't... I. It's not that I don't believe it, but something about it feels like it's coming a little bit out of nowhere. Like, I, I, I know... I, I guess there are already little hints that he was just kind of... There are little hints, I guess, but it's like... It's nothing that, that showed to me that he was really willing to like, betray Jay Garcia, I guess. Like, there might have been more hints there than I thought, but it's, like, overall, like, the pacing of this feels a little weird, and I don't know how, on that end, I don't know how much I believe it, but it will be, if if he, if, if Kizaru is having a change of heart, and he does end up being the one to actually kill Jay Garcia, it will be interesting to see where, he, like, at what point, and if, what, what finally pushes him over the edge, because, again, he's already having those hesitations, he's already having those, like, kind of misgivings about w whether to keep going through with this, because even he clearly sees this, the entire thing is getting out of hand, so it's like, what's, what exactly is going to lead to him making that ultimate decision, or e even more so, is, it just, I'm, I'm just kind of curious about how this is, how Oda's trying to play this out with, with Kizaru, because, I don't know how much I bel I don't know how much to, to believe in in him being the one because it, again it, it, all signs are pointing to it. I just don't know like how Oda's gonna play this and how it's gonna play out. I think is the big thing for me. Um, and <sighs> but but uh, but or or maybe it'll be a combo of both of both Kuma and it'll maybe be a combo of both Kuma and. Uh, and, and Kizaru, I don't know. In fact, it would actually be kind of interesting if it was Kuma and Kizaru, because the, the, the last time they technically met one-on-one -on -one was basically, well, was all the way, all the way back on, on, on from Saba Odi when, when Kuma had, had helped save the Straw Hats, so it'll be interesting to see how, how, it's interesting, to, it would be kind of interesting to see them kind of like, now kind of teaming up in this scenario. Um, but, okay. But, yeah, like, th there's, th there's honestly so much, and, again, back to, back to Jay Garcia, though, like, again, man just continues to prove to me that he is the biggest fucking asshole, like, I know I keep repeating that over and over again in my head, over and over again, but it's like, man purposefully, f purposefully fed Bonnie a, it, it in, 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 intravenously, from what I understand, or just liquid form, I don't know, intravenously liquid form, fed her a devil fruit power, fucked up as it is, he basically was the one to cause the sapphire skills on, on Ginny, and basically all, and he did, supposedly did this all under Kuma's nose, or at least, apparent Kuma, like, honestly, that's the thing, he supposedly said he tricked Kuma in, in, without even Kuma even realizing all this stuff. But honestly, I don't know how much I buy that bullshit. I wonder if Kuma ever kind of realized, ever realized at some point that yeah, Jay Garcia is the one pulling pulling the strings on this shit. Like I refuse to believe he he didn't he wasn't at least somewhat somewhat at least skeptical or aware. Like it, I don't know. Like maybe it's just me, but it's like, and he, but if if he like just. Assuming he did do all this and Kuma never realized it, like, fuck you, dude. Seriously, fuck off. Like, again, I, I'm never gonna stop saying that. Jay Garcia needs to fuck off for all I care. Like, man can go die in a fucking ditch. And and again, hopefully, if what my prediction is true, hopefully it does happen because again, man kind of deserves it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I also. With that said, I also do like the little moment we little I guess flashback moment we get of after the of after of after Bonnie had finally seen all of her memor all of her father's memories and that and we get to see the little chat between between Dr. Vegapunk and <clears throat> and Bonnie and like them kinda just having that little moment to hash it out saying, I forgive you and just like just having that nice little moment between her and her and the doctor, I think really really does help. It's it's a small moment, and I I would obviously I wish we could have gotten more, but it's a nice little moment where it's finally like, yeah, I I forgive you everything you've everything you did. I I know now it was for it was for my sake. It was even 
even when you were forced to do those things against my against against the will of the against your will against your will to all those things you did to Kuma to my father like I I finally forgive you like even then you you regretted it she like she understands he regretted everything he had to do and I again I kind of like that idea about this but uh, yeah guys that's pretty much all I got for this review if you enjoyed the video like if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, analyst control, be sure to catch bell with the subscribe button, and just share the video around, guys. Dark Knight of me. Signing off. Later, everyone.